Hey guys, Nathan Kirby here. I'm sitting at home in my home office doing a little reflective thinking. I had a meeting uh, this morning with a friend of mine. He's a pastor. Um, I love meeting with this guy because I feel like I get fed. I have uh, some great friends that I look to for guidance and mentorship and they always are above me. Kind of like how I married. I married up. And uh, so I have people in my life that I want to feed me and encourage me. Kind of what I want to talk to you about today, about finding your passion and your dream and fulfilling it. You know, I started thinking when I'm, when I'm talking to this guy, I watched a video. If you guys uh, know of this speaker called Les Brown, I watched a video of his today and him. He was in South Africa speaking and he said somebody came up to him and said, Les, I need to speak. Speaking, I feel alive. And I completely understand what he means by that. I feel completely alive and whole as one when I speak. I don't care if it's at church. I don't care if it's at home, at a fight to my martial arts students. It doesn't matter. I just feel fulfilled when I speak. When I talk to people and I ask them what fulfills them, I don't really get a complete response. And what I mean by that is they don't know. Sometimes the responses have something to do with money, position, or materialistic things. What fulfills them is going to the beach, going to the lake. That's temporary. They talk about vacationing all the time. That's not even a life. That's, that's actually the opposite of living a life. Um, it's, it's having a new car or a new truck or having a raise. It's just a dollar more an hour, but that's what they live for. It's having a title to go from assistant to full or trainee to manager, whatever it is. But let me ask you though, really, if you can think about this one thing that you feel alive doing, whether it's writing, singing, reading, whether it's going to the gym, exercising, training, um, it, it, it may be a sport, it may not be, it may be um, engineering, it may be Legos, don't care what it is. Whatever that is, whatever makes you feel alive, you are getting connected with something that's buried deeper inside of you, getting closer and closer to the seed of greatness that God has planted within you. The more you can connect to that, the more you're going to come alive in your daily basis. When you wake up in the morning, do you hit the alarm? Uh, I don't want to get up. Or do you beat the alarm to get up? Are you the first to arrive? Or are you the last one to get there dragging your tail and then you have the attitude about it? You're obviously not happy there. Find something to make you happy. What is it that makes you feel whole, makes you feel complete, makes you feel alive? That is what I want to ask you. That's what I want you to find. There's hope in that. When you can get your fingers laid upon that, when you can find it, feel the heartbeat of what that is, your life starts to change. I feel like I'm so more focused now than I've ever been in my life. And I've been focused at so many times and I have had an opportunity to do and achieve many things. But those are just trophies or medals or a piece of paper saying I've done something. There is nothing deeper within me, nothing that's going to last in eternity beyond that. And the more I started to figure out what that was and realize and internalize what that was, figure out what my DNA is, the happier that my life begins. But what's funny, I'm telling you, it's going to be hard. And let me, let me tell you something really quick. I hear it all the time. So I'm going to wrap this up. Let me say something. You don't have to be great to start. You have to start to be great. If I can leave you with one thing, take a step. Take one step. Everybody goes, I don't know what direction to take. Doesn't matter. It's better than doing nothing and going nowhere. The thing about a grave, the grave and a rut, the only difference is the depth. And if you guys feel like you're in that rut, you've got to get some momentum. The thing about a rocking chair, it goes back and forth and it doesn't go anywhere. It's in the same place. So you've got to find something within you that's going to make you step outside of that comfort zone to go after whatever it is. You don't know what step to take. Take a step. One step. Make the decision first. Start with a small little baby step. You don't have to be great to start, but you got to start to be great. This is to you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.